What's up guys, I am Lee Morris from fstoppers.com and today I'm going to show you how to do a beer product shot and we're going to use five lights. Anybody is going to be able to recreate this shot. All right guys, so I've already done the hard work. I've set up the light exactly how I want it, but I want you to be able to see exactly what each light is doing to this final shot. So I'm going to turn off every light and I'm gonna build up the shot light by light so you can actually see what's going on. We're gonna start with the back light, which is actually behind the beer bottle and it is firing directly through the beer bottle at the camera and it's going to give this nice glow to the beer. All right, so back here in the back, we've got one of these young new Yu-Gi-Oh! cheapo Amazon flashes. Uh, we have a pocket wizard hooked up to this thing and I've turned this on and we are currently at uh, one over 128. So the lowest possible power, it's firing directly into the back of this beer bottle. Okay, so I've got this all hooked up. This pocket wizard here is hooked up to my camera, so it's gonna fire the camera, and then another pocket wizard will fire this uh, flash. And you can see with this first shot here, we have no light on the bottle besides the light that's actually firing through the back. Uh, obviously not much of a picture yet, but you can kind of see this thing taking shape. So for the next three shots, I'm using the brand new F-Stoppers Flash Disc version two. And we actually created this product like six years ago, and we've been using them for product shots because they're so thin and small and you can really maneuver them easily uh, where a softbox might not necessarily fit in a situation like this. Uh, these are really easy to work with. So I'm gonna start with the flash disc, which is on top of the bottle, and then we'll work from there. All right, so here I've got an SB910 and a flash disc. I have it set to SU4 mode, so when it sees another flash, it's just going to fire. It's like slave mode. And this flash disc is firing down on the bottle. It's gonna create a nice highlight along the bottle cap and also give a little light along the sides of the bottle as well. Let's take a shot here. And uh, again, you can see there's a very subtle uh, change here, but now we can see the edges of the bottle. We can see the bottle cap much better. And uh, it's time to add the side lights. So if you've ever seen a beer ad before, pretty much every single shot is edged out with lights coming from behind off to the side so you can really see this nice shoulder line. It's this nice little feminine curve that everybody loves in beer bottles. And so we wanna recreate that ourselves. We also want this bottle to kinda of pop off of the background. And so we're using two flash discs on either side they're firing slightly sideways, slightly from behind. And what it's going to do, it's gonna create a nice little highlight all the way down the side of the bottle. Here I have an SB80DX. Uh, every single flash we're using today is completely different. Again, this one is also in SU4 mode and it's at 1 32nd power. So let's take a test shot here. You can see now with this shot, we have the left side all edged out. We need to turn on the flash disc on the right. This is an SB800 at, again, uh, 30 second, one over 32 power. One more shot. Perfect, now we have a beautifully edged out bottle. We also have the light that's flowing through the actual beer, so it's giving it this nice glow. Everything about this picture is great, except you can't actually read the, uh, the front label. So we have to turn on our key light, which is a gridded SB800 here. And we're using the MagMod system with this, and you can see uh, this is a little rubber grid, and it's held on by magnets. So this just pops on right there. We're using two grids so that we can get a nice tight beam of light hitting the front of the bottle here. I'll flip this on. Again, SU4 mode. With this one, we're at 1 8th power, and let's take a shot. Perfect. It looks great, but if we want it to be that perfect finished shot that you can see in a magazine or anything like that. We're gonna have to add ice, water, you know, the little bit of uh, condensation on the actual beer bottle. So let's get to all those details and make this a finished product shot. So before we start messing with the actual bottle, I wanna get the table looking perfect. And we have some really cool black glass that this bottle is sitting on, but I wanna add some little drips of water on the table, maybe some ice cubes around there. And once we have that all figured out, then we will actually start spraying some mist on the bottle itself. So I got some crushed ice from our freezer and I've been sprinkling it around on the glass table. And uh, obviously if I did this for a living day in and day out, I'd probably have tons of fake glass ice to use. 
but this is gonna work fine for what we're doing. And as I'm taking shots here, I really like the way it looks, but keep in mind that this is going to be melting as we go. So I can shoot for just a few minutes to have a lot of different options for the way that the ice actually looks. But then once I've got the actual bottom of the picture with the ice in it the way I want it, I don't need to worry about that anymore. The ice can go ahead and melt. And then I'm only going to focus on getting the bottle to look perfect with the little drops of water. And then I can merge the two in Photoshop afterwards. So one little tip that I learned when I was in the Bahamas workshop that we put on from Rob Grimm, who's an incredible product photographer, he told me that when you're shooting a bottle like this, it has a paper label, you have to spray it first with clear gloss. And what that's going to do is protect the paper so that when you get it wet, you can keep those perfect little beads of water without actually making the paper wrinkle and fall off. All right, so here's the next tip that I learned from Rob Grimm in the Bahamas. This is pure glycerin. I got this at a CVS pharmacy. You can get it at basically any pharmacy. You mix this with water, and I don't know if it's a 50-50 blend. We're kind of just making it up as we go along. And then I've got two different types of spritzer bottles. And what we want is we want to figure out which one is best so that I can actually spray the bottle and the glycerin will make the water droplets stay so they won't run down the bottle like they would if it was just pure water. They'll stay there for as long as you need them to and you can shoot for a long period of time and uh, apparently that's how they do it. So let's give it a try. Hey, this is actually working really good. Yeah, come in here and actually look at these droplets. This is pretty crazy. I mean, it, it looks so realistic. It looks like it's cold and there's water condensing on it. Um, but in reality, it's just glycerin and water mixed. So uh, this is working great. So I've got the glycerin all over the bottle now. Let's see if I can uh, take a shot. And this thing looks really nice and cold and delicious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. It looks great. So this shot looks great. I absolutely love it, but there's one thing that I think it could use. I'm gonna turn up the power in the back. I just want the light that's firing through the bottle to uh, be a little bit brighter and see if we can get a little bit more drama in this picture. Now, the nice thing about a shot like this is it's very simple if you wanna swap out the background. We can easily go in with the pen tool, cut the bottle out, and then put anything in the background we want. One great thing about using a product like the flash disc for this, other than uh, an actual soft box, is that they're so thin they can fit in places that a normal soft box cannot. You can also tilt the flash head with the flash disc still on it, so you can slide the flash right up next to the product and still tilt it, which is a feature that's pretty difficult to do with a soft box, especially if you're trying to get multiple soft boxes in the exact same area, it's almost impossible. The other great thing about version two of these flash discs is we have changed the outside ring and they are reflective now. Before there was a bunch of spill coming out of the sides of the flash disc. Now that's not a problem anymore. It really contains all the light, makes sure that it fires it out the front and uh, it's also more powerful as well. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy this for your product photography. Well guys, I hope you learned something. I know I definitely learned a ton from Rob Grimm in the Bahamas. If you'd like to take another class from him, check out fstoppersworkshops.com. If you'd like to check out more tutorials like this, head over to fstoppers.com. And if you'd like to check out the F-Stoppers flash disc, our brand new first ever product, really, head over to fstoppers.com slash store. If you enjoyed this photography related video, check out some of our other photography tutorials and behind the scenes videos here. And please feel free to subscribe to the official F Stoppers YouTube channel below.